I told you, I know my rights. I don't have to. Ah, ah, brutality, please brutality, help. Ah. My name is Burp and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. I'm at Craptastic Sam's. And I'm about to head in here to see what kind of goodies they got. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. Hopefully we can pull some vintage toys off these shelves. All right, well, let's see. What do we got in the glass case? Got some NBA Barbie. And some more down here. Well, it looks like it's about it. All right, guys, let's get to rummaging. Oh, we got a TMNT, a zebra, a Minnie Mouse. Just some junk. Let's see, anything else? What's this? We got a police truck. Some sort of Peppa Pig figure. Hey, it's Pluto. And a dino. Pluto and a dino. Look at this little monkey dude. <laughs> it's funny. All right, anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Hey, we got some minions. Some like a bulldozer or something. Anything good, anything, what's this? We got a bag full of animals, it looks like. There's a Imaginex Robin. Looks like we got a red Power Ranger in here. But other than that, just a bag of junk. Looks like we got, uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a reindeer. <laughs> I can see his horns. It's a reindeer wind-up toy. And what's this? Uh, looks like we might have like a dino right there. And nothing else really. All right, well, the bag game was pretty weak. Let's see if we can find some stuff on the shelves. What's this over here? Is this a hookah? Oh yeah. Check that out, it actually matches my shirt. And what did I see? I saw a bag down here. Let's see if there's anything good in this bag. Oh, it's a Rough Riders baseball. Kind of neat. It says Dallas Blonde. What is that? Is that like a um? Oh, that's like a uh, a beer tap. Oh, that's interesting. All right, I might actually grab that just because this could be worth a little something. Creepy. What's on her face? We've got a horse. Yeah, it looks like we got more horses over here. Hey, yeah, check this thing out. I just picked up, I just found. The company's called Ambico, the video transfer system. So if you have like old, like 35 millimeter film, you can play it on the screen and then hook your camera up to record the screen so that you can transfer it onto a, a VHS tape. That is crazy. I almost want to get this just because it's like, you know, it's probably 1980s, I would imagine. Let's see here. I don't see a date. Oops, the box is coming open. Let's take a peek inside. Oh man, it doesn't look like it's like ever even been used. That's pretty wild. I don't want nine bucks for it. And I saw like these things actually are selling for like 30 to 40 bucks on eBay. But it's really neat. Hey, right, check this thing out. That's a cool one. It's made by Radio Flyer. I want 20 bucks for it. I think it's pretty cool. Somebody painted on it though. It sucks. I'd love to have something like that, but I'm not going to get it. I don't have any room for it, but that, that it's cool. I, I really like it. Hey, I think we saw this Scooby-Doo Imaginex pirate ship in a previous video. I'm surprised he's still here and no one's grabbed this yet. 
All right, we got a Raphael here. He's kind of cool. I like him. Well, I decided I'm gonna leave this on the shelf because uh, the deluxe set sells for like 25, 30 bucks. These ones are selling for like 15 to 20 with free shipping. So not really worth it, but man, it's just really neat to see something like that because like, look at, look at the setup. Like that's what you had to do to get your either your photos your slides or your film to a videotape that is crazy all right guys well hey i think we actually got a sweet little score here in this bag so let's head back to the car do a little show and tell and uh show you what i got and how much i think it's actually worth well it ain't worth shit Look at that. It's busted there and it's busted there. Oh man, why didn't I look closer? Oh, this thing looks cool too, man. So it's a beer tap and I saw if it actually had like the, the pointy, uh, you know, needle nose part that goes down into the tap here, these things sell for about a hundred bucks in this condition like without this piece and assuming that this had been together i was thinking man you know, i could probably get 50 60 bucks out of it you know but it ain't worth nothing it's broken story of my life but the positive side of things or the upside is that uh, my buddy keith he collects baseballs and this is kind of a cool looking Frisco Rough Riders baseball. It's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know, I don't even know if he wants it. He might just want major league stuff. I don't know. But Keith, I'm hoping, hoping maybe you want the ball other, because if you don't want it, man, the whole bag is a bust. So <laughs> the whole bag is a bust. Oh my goodness gracious. So, well, hey, you know, we got this. That's the only thing out of it. And then this piece of shit right here, this thing. So, from 2022 all right guys up next we either going to hit up a goodwill or we're going to hit up the thrift store whichever one we end up in i'll see you there all right my friends we are here we are at the goody wheel what you got for me today goody wheel what you got for me today kind of looks uh like they might not even be open There's not a single car in the parking lot that car there just showed up well, there's a truck back there. I don't know. Maybe there's just nobody here. Like as far as customers. Lights look like they're on. Store, yeah. Let's see, Sunday. Oh, well that sucks. This store doesn't open till 1 p.m. on Sunday where all the others are open at like, I think 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. or something like that, so. All right, well, this was a big old bust. So let's head off to the thrift store, see what kind of goodies they got. All right, guys, we're here. Oh, by the way, also in that little bag was this little dude. I don't know who this guy is. Is it a guy or is it a girl? I don't know. Maybe you guys can help me out. Let me know who this is. And then I can look them up and see if maybe I can get my money back on that busted bag. So in the meantime, we're gonna hit up the thrift store. We're gonna check the glass case. We're gonna check the shelves. We're gonna rummage through some bags. And the goal is to find some vintage 70s toys, vintage 80s toys, or vintage 90s toys. Let's see what we can do. All right, anything in here? We got some die cast. Got these little dudes. These dogs and cats, but no toys. All right, well, let's see if we can find some goodness in these bags. Some Play-Doh. Oh, this bag has some of those vintage Indians and Cowboys in it. I wonder if those are the only two, or if there's more. There's an army guy. Hmm. All right, anything in here? 
like a gun, a little tiny motorcycle. I don't know what those are, like chickens or something. There's some like softballs. Let's see, anything down here? What are these things? Oh, what's this? The Dark Knight swim goggles and case set. I don't want that. The case is kind of cool though. <laughs> I was looking to see if it was like old, you know? Marshalls. I don't see a date on the back of it though. All right, we'll pass on that. Here's some like play clay hair salon. And we've got like a hand puppet in here, like a police officer. And then we got these little finger puppets down here. Hmm, it's $2.99 for the bag. I'll probably use him in some of my videos find a use for him. Is this more of that play clay? Yeah. What's this? Lemonade. It says Hot Wheels on it. That's a cool looking truck. It looks older. I'll have to check into that. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get this because this is uh, this is vintage, this Midget Railway. And there's one, two, at least three cars in there, maybe more. And then there's this Hot Wheels truck. I think this might be vintage too. Yeah, so let's grab this bag. All right, well, what do we got in here? We got a little football player, Denver Broncos. couple Denver Broncos guys in there. I don't know who this dude is. Oh, that's Ohio State. And we got this vintage 1990s McDonald's toy. I actually have this. That's how I know. But other than that, I don't really see anything else. Hey, check this out. New Orleans Saints. He's like a robot. How much do they want for him? I don't even see a price on them. Oh, here he is. A buck ninety nine. Hmm. It's kind of neat. Check this out. Um, it's like a uh, fur collection. Faux Coyote hot water bottle. Ah, I thought it was like a canteen for a second. All right, y'all. I got my haul. Let's head to the car. It's not that far. It's time for show and tell. It's time for show and tell. All right, guys, let's do a little show and tell. All right, guys, well, I'd like to introduce you to Deputy Cletus. Say hi, Cletus. I don't gotta say nothing, man. I'm here to do a job and I caught you loitering. Would you like to explain? I wasn't loitering. I was like in the thrift store, man. Just like, you know, going rummaging through bags and stuff like that. And then I was just, you know, walking to the car. No, you were not walking to the car. I saw you loitering outside the door. Now, show me your driver's license. I need to see your identification. I don't have an identification. I don't need to show you anything. I know my rights. Don't get smart with me, boy. Show me your ID. I told you, I know my rights. I don't have to. Ah, ah, brutality, please, brutality, help. Ah. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is Deputy Cletus. Why am I making him talk as I'm talking? So this is Deputy Cletus, and uh, I saw, they're called Silly Puppets. And um, I saw these things are selling for like 20 to 25 bucks. 
I got them in the bag with some finger puppets. I'll show you those here in a second. And um, for like, I think $2.99, I think is what it was or something. So, but anyway, let me show you the finger puppets. All right, so these are the finger puppets. We've got like a, like a lizard or something. We've got a pig. And then we've got a monkey, but look, on the monkey's back is like this little baby monkey. So uh, I thought these were pretty cool, you know? It's, um, here's a view of them from the back. And uh, you know, I'll probably just put them all together with Deputy Cletus over here and uh, probably try and sell them all for like 25 bucks. So I got these. I got the VHS tapes. They're all sealed, which is cool. And uh, well, what year was these ones made? 1999 so these are from 99 they're probably not really worth anything but i'm just gonna keep them for my collection and watch some of these on my vhs player i'm actually on the hunt right now for a like a retro tv you know something from like the 80s or 90s like a little maybe 17 inch screen or 13 inch screen something small something to play my video games on but also watch some movies on if i want to so I thought this was pretty cool, so I picked this up. I got this Hot Wheels truck and trailer, tractor and trailer, and it is uh, from 2013, so it's probably not worth a whole lot of money, but I'm gonna try and sell it anyway, and maybe see if I can list it for like five bucks or something like that. I do believe, I think it's missing like a, a door back here or something like that, so I don't know, maybe $3, or I'll put it in a lot with something else, and you know, try to sweeten the deal a little bit. I also got this military train set up. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the engine, but how cool is this thing? It's a, uh, it's a uh, hauling some armored tanks across the country to the battlefield maybe. So it's got the caboose, it's got the cargo car, it's got, you know, whatever this thing's called. It's got this oil tank, diesel fuel, fuel, but um, it doesn't have an engine. So I don't know, maybe I'll have to look on eBay and see if I can find the engine. I think it's actually a cool little piece. I'm actually really digging it. I think this door slides open. Yeah, so you could put like little tiny figures in there or something like that. So I thought that was cool. So I got that and then I got this vintage Midget Railway. You'll never see that again. <laughs> Call it Midget Railway. Is it midgets kind of like a uh, politically incorrect term? They're little people. People. They're not midgets. They're little people. Damn it. So, but yeah, we've got um, we've got this Midget Railway, and we've got three cars. We've got the caboose. We've got the lemonade and the uh we've got the engine so uh, that was pretty cool too so uh again i think uh i saw these things selling for like 20 bucks or something like that and i got the got the bag for 2.99 so i think that's a pretty sweet little deal all right so we've spent about ten dollars today and probably got you know 40 dollars worth of stuff that we could actually flip and make some profit on it so all right, guys, up next, let's go hit up another Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. Guys, there's a foot hanging out of the trunk of that car. I think that car just murdered somebody. I got their license plate number. They won't get far. All right, my friends, we are here eating kolache. I'm finishing up a kolache at the moment. But we're at the Goody Wheel, baby. We're at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys in there. We did get some vintage today. That's awesome. Nothing to like get me like super jazzed up about or anything like that, but still cool that we did score some vintage with the Midget Railway. Let's see if we can actually find some cool vintage in here. All right, well, this was here last time. These shelves are pretty much empty. What's this thing? Oh, it's like a little, little hot, like a big wheel type of thing, you know? 
What's this? That's a puzzle. Well, it doesn't look like we're gonna find anything here. All right, what do we got here? Oh, look at that Daffy Duck. That's early Daffy Duck. What's this one here? Mm, nothing. I like this, but I don't like this right here. Probably won't get it for that reason. All right, guys. As usual at this Goodwill, busted. There has not been anything on their shelves for probably a month now. I did get a uh, a VCR in here last week. <laughs> that was cool, but no toys, no toys, no toys for your boy. All right, let's go hit up Plaza Thrift, Crabtastic Sam's see what kind of goodies they got all right guys guys and girls when I say guys I just mean everybody Plaza Thrift aka craptastic Sam's let's head in here and see if we can find some vintage toys I was in here the other day I did a real video of it or not a real, a YouTube short. And I found some, what are they called? Warriors. They're like kangaroo looking dudes. Warriors of integrity. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Anyway, I found some of them in the glass case. They're from like 1996, which sometimes whenever you find figures like that, it usually means that there's more in the back that just, you know, eventually kind of make their way out. So it's usually not just a one-off. So I'm hoping maybe they've got some more 90s toys in here. Let's see what we can do. Well, they still have all these Skylanders toys. But I think they want like, yeah, you know, like nine bucks a bag for them. Here's some more over here. All right, let's see. What do we got on these shelves? Looks like a whole lot of nothing. Well, maybe we can find something in the bags. This baggy section's been weak lately too. Lots of these happy birthday cake thingies here. Tons of them. Yeah, I don't see anything in the bags either. This guy's been here for like a month now or something. Oh, we got a Kyle Ren plushie. Anything else? A Dippin' Dots. Or Dots, I guess. Lunchbox. How much did one hat? Seven dollars. Get out of here. Oh, we got a bag over here in the Halloween section. But... It looks like it's just filled with junk. All right, well, that was a big fat bust. But hey, you know what? I still had fun today and I got, spent $10 on merchandise. And like I said, I should maybe be able to get 40 bucks out of that. That'd be cool, man. Hey, I hope you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you. If you are, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out, helps my channel grow. If you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button i got over 600 videos that you can start binge watching right now starting with this next video i know you're gonna love it